Good morning, Reformation Lutheran Church and School. This is Miss Jen reporting from the RLCS Newsroom. We have breaking news of wild and wonderful animals being observed in the desert. The desert is a dry area that receives less than 10 inches of precipitation a year. Precipitation is a fancy way of saying liquid and solid particles that fall from clouds and reach the ground. So some examples of pre precipitation is drizzle, rain, snow, snow pellets, ice crystals, and hail. Some deserts get a lot of rain all at once and may not rain again for months or even years. Only one out of five deserts on earth are actually covered in sand. Did you know San Diego is considered a desert? Some deserts can be hot and others are super cold. Even if the desert is hot during the day, it can be very cold at night. 20% of the world's surface is actually desert. And even though the desert doesn't have much water, plants and animals have adapted to living there. Many animals that live in the desert are nocturnal. That means they sleep during the day and are awake at night. And they like to hide in burrows during the day and come out at night when it's cooler. We have a guest in the studio. Here is our first guest. Do you know what it is? It's a rattlesnake. So you have to be very careful. Here's a great close-up of our friend the rattlesnake. The rattlesnake can be five and a half feet long. That's as long as I am. It has no legs, so how does it move? It crawls using its scales to pull, across, pull itself across the ground. The rattlesnake can live between 10 and 20 years. It is a carnivore. That means it eats meat. The rattlesnake may eat only once every two weeks. I couldn't do that. The rattlesnake is called a rattlesnake because of the rattle at the end of its tail. The rattle is made from the same thing as our fingernails. And the sound comes from the segments at the end of its tail knocking against each other. But it's really empty inside. There's nothing in there. It is used to warn poten uh, potential threats and to distract prey. The rattlesnake does not want to attack. It wants to be left alone. So if you hear that rattle, stop what you're doing, go back the way you came slowly, and let an adult know. You don't want to get bitten by a rattlesnake. It has two long fangs that push venom, which is another way of saying poison into you. So you always want to keep your eyes and ears open in case you come across one. The rattlesnake has no ears, so it cannot hear well. It relies on its eyesight and its sense of smell. The rattlesnake uses its tongue to smell. It doesn't use its nose. When it's dark out, it can detect body heat from other creatures. The rattlesnake can also sense movement by vibrations that come through the ground. The rattlesnake's head is actually in the shape of a triangle. In order to grow, the rattlesnake has to shed its skin in a process called molting. The rattlesnake will occasionally lose part of its rattle before it molts, but the rattle will come back the next time the rattlesnake sheds its skin. The rattlesnake is actually a good swimmer, so really keep an eye out before you try going into pools or lakes or anything, okay? And the rattlesnake sleeps in the sun to warm up, during the, and during the winter, they hibernate, that means sleeping for a long time, in caves or cliff ledges. During the summer, the rattlesnake will stay underground or in caves to avoid too much sun and heat. Thanks for visiting us today, Mr. Rattlesnake. I'm glad we got to learn all about you, but I think I'm going to keep my distance from you so you don't try and hurt me. Sound good? Great. Oh, what's that? There's news of another visitor in our studio. Let's check it out. Here's our next guest. It is a bald eagle. Here is a picture of our bald eagle. Now, even though the bald eagle is called a bald eagle, it's really not bald. It has feathers on its head, covering it uh, with short white feathers. The name is actually from an old English word, word bald, B-A-L-D-E, meaning white. Bald eagles can see four to seven times better than humans. But unlike humans' eyes, an eagle's eyes can't move from side to side. So to look around, the eagle has to turn its whole head the bald eagle weighs about 10 pounds, and the female bald eagles are generally 25% bigger than males. Bald eagles have an average wingspan of six, between six feet and seven and a half feet. 
Their average lifespan in the wild is 20 years, but they can live up to 45 years in, their, in captivity. Bald eagles build the largest tree nests of any bird, usually 125 feet above ground. The bald eagle nest weighs as much as one ton and measures up to 13 feet deep and eight feet wide. That's huge. Bald eagles have two main considerations when deciding on their nest location. They want an easy hunting post from which to launch when leaving their nest for food, and they want their chicks and fledgings to be protected from predators, including other birds of prey. Bald eagles are birds of prey, which means they are carnivores. Remember, that means they eat meat. They like to live near large bodies of water. A large part of the bald eagle's diet is fish. Bald eagles have incredible strength due to their size. They also have some of the most impressive talons, those are the claws, of any birds of prey. Their hook hands have also have special features which help the bald eagles capture fish. As well as fish, small mammals like mice, rabbits, and even larger animals um, are part of the diet of the bald eagles. The largest recorded load of any flying bird was a 15 pound mule deer carried by a bald eagle. Whoa, who knew a small a bird could carry that much weight? Considering the average bald eagle weighs 10 pounds, the mule deer was more was likely more than the weight of the bird carrying it. The massive six to seven and a half wingspan of the bald eagle goes the same way toward explaining how it can pull off these amazing feats of strength. Bald eagles are some of the fastest members of the animal kingdom. While they don't achieve the same 200 miles per hour top speed as some peregrine falcons, they are much faster than the average human, flying at 35 to 45 miles an hour. Like the peregrine falcon, bald eagles are at their fastest when they fly high, then tuck their wings in and dive at incredible speeds towards their prey on the ground. Bald eagles can reach speeds up to 100 miles per hour in a, in a dive. These graceful birds have been the national symbol of the United States since 1782. Wow, that was so many cool facts about you. I'm so glad we got to learn all about you and that you get to represent us as our national bird. How cool is that? Thanks for visiting. We have one more guest in the studio. Let's check out our guest, last guest. It's this creature. What is this creature? Well, I'm glad you asked. It is our friend, the Roadrunner. And I'm going to show you a picture of the Roadrunner and what we see it on TV and some cartoons sometimes. They don't look alike, do they? Mm -mm. Roadrunners are members of the uh, cuckoo family of birds. They are large, slender, ground-dwelling birds measuring 18 to 24 inches from tail to beak and weighing 8 to 24 ounces. They have dark brown and white streaked bodies with a distinctive spiky head crest and a colorful bare patch of skin behind each eye. This patch is shaded blue by the eye and fades to red towards the back of their head. The Roadrunner's tail is long and broad with white tips on the three outer tail feathers. They have long legs and strong zygodactyl feet. That means they have two toes in the front and two toes in the back and a large dark bill. These feet leave X-shaped footprints along dusty paths or dry ground that can be easy to identify. They vocalize with both a dove-like coo or a rapid clattering noise made with their beak. The lifespan of a roadrunner is roughly eight years. Although capable of flight, the roadrunner prefers to spend most of its time on the ground. Roadrunners can run at speeds of up to 20 miles an hour and generally prefer sprinting to flying because their short wings are only able to keep their large body aboard for a few seconds at a time. They will usually only fly to escape predators or when traveling down steep slopes. The roadrunner is one of the very few animals quick enough to prey upon rattlesnakes. A roadrunner nest is made of anything the male can find, such as sticks, snakeskin, and leaves. The roadrunner's diet consists mainly of insects, small reptiles, small mammals, eggs, nestlings, fruits and seeds, um, although they are known to eat scorpions, rattlesnakes, and hummingbirds. Wow, you can eat a lot. Because water is scarce in many roadrunner habitats, these, large, uh, these birds get the moisture they need from the blood and tissues of their prey. Like many seabirds, they have special glands in front of their eyes 
that push out the excess salt to keep their body chemistry balanced. The most famous Roadrunner is the Roadrunner, created by Chuck Jones in 1948 for Warner Brothers. The bird first debuted with his nemesis, Wile E. Coyote, in 1949, and has appeared in numerous cartoons, comics, commercials, and video games, as well as the movies Who Framed Roger Rabbit and Space Jam. The cartoon bird bears little resemblance to wild roadrunners, however, and in fact, coyotes do often do catch and eat roadrunners, though Wile E. Coyote never did. Well, that's all from this segment. Coming up, more wild and wonderful animals from the desert. This is Miss Jen reporting from the RLCS newsroom. May God bless you and your family.